Hello guys, welcome to my this video and today in this video I will discuss about use effect hook and this will be the last video of use effect hook. So guys here I will show you how use effect hook works when we destroy one component. So guys maybe you are getting confused here. So here you can see first of all I have created one component and if you don't know guys how to create component and how to call it. So you can watch my previous videos so there I already discussed how to create component and how we call it in app.js and we display in browser okay so same here just i will give you the brief idea this is component and this home component i called uh, i mean first i imported here and here i have called so destroy means guys now here you can see here this home component i have written home component inside this h2 tag okay and this one component this component i called here okay and if i go to the browser here so you can see this home component it is displaying because now I call this home in app.js and here all the view it is app.js file okay so here I can see home component so now guys suppose when I will delete this component I mean that is called destroy when I will destroy this component so that time use effect hook or is also called so how it is called so that I will show you and this is very important thing guys maybe hey now this time you are getting confused here but when I will show you then maybe you can easily understand so now guys I will destroy this component okay destroy means guys I will delete you can simply say it so when I will click one button so that time I will delete or destroy so I will create a button button type is button okay this one and now guys here I will write a one click method because I will click and that time it will destroy okay so that's why on click method and the function name I have to write so here I will write my function okay and now the button tag is closed and the button name i will write click okay and now if i just uh, so here uh, it is showing one error because guys here i have uh, declared one method but i didn't uh, add this one okay so if i remove this now for now so you can see it is compiled successfully here and now if i show so here you can see the button is displaying click so when i'll click this button so that time i will remove this home component and this text is coming from home component okay here you can see the this text okay so that component i will delete i mean from here i will delete so now for that guys now i will add on click method and i have written a function so that function i have to write here okay so here just i will write the function okay so function and you can write simply using a function keyword otherwise you can write the fate arrow function uh, whatever you want you can write here okay so now here this function and now when i will click this button i have to delete so guys here in react we know we cannot update dom manually here react decide how dom will update so that's why uh, this uh, this thing i already had shown you we we use use state hook okay so if you don't know use state hook so i will suggest simply watch my all the tutorial step by step there i already discussed how to toggle toggle means guys uh, like this this kind of thing we can say toggle when i will click it will be delete and when i will click again it will display again so that is called toggle function so that that toggle function and how to delete anything so that i will already had shown you so guys here i have to import use state so here simply i will write use state hook see here when i have written uh, only use state and enter it's automatically imported if it is not so then simply you type this line here okay in in your application so this use state hook it is uh, added and now guys here just simply above of this method here i will write one very uh, i mean one keyword keyword is uh it may be the val late const okay but i i will use const keyword because const keyword means it it will be only one time means guys i will explain why i'm using const keyword so first of all here i will take an array and inside this array i have to take two values okay uh first value suppose i will write here height okay and the another value or you can say it index because inside this array we called it index so first index name is height and second index name is set height by the way guys it is not mandatory like you have to write height you have to write set height okay why i have written height because i want to destroy or delete me or hide you can say it this component so that's why i have written height just i wanted to add the similar name and now i have to write use state okay and 
parenthesis so this is the syntax actually so syntax is like you have to uh, write keyword for defining variable like you can write here var let const but i will suggest to add here const because this const why i have added suppose guys here here uh, you have written thousand lines of code or more than thousand lines of code and by here you already have written height and by mistake when you will write the same variable name here so that time you can see it, it will be an error but if you write uh, using where keyword so you will not get error okay so that is the difference cons and where actually there is the another difference i already discussed about the difference in my javascript tutorial but here this is the difference i mean const is always be unique in a one page like here you define hide variable using const keyword so you cannot define the same thing again but using var keyword you can define it so that's why okay so guys this is the syntax like const and here you have to write the variable first variable name i have written height second is set height and the uh, you have to define one initial value okay so first i will write the initial value is true okay because guys initially i want to display this home component so means it is true when i will click this button so that time i will make it false means i will hide this component okay so first initially i have defined true and this true variable here i have taken a two variable okay i'm and this two value not variable this true value first it will store by default in this height okay if i if i just uh, uh, console this height like this i will not show just i will i'm just uh, showing this one if i console this height and now if i click this button so what i will get i will get the value of true because this true variable value means initial value it, it store in the first variable and this uh, so why set uh, set high because react i already said react uh, is uh, i mean react decide how it will update so when i want to change this variables value so that time here i cannot write like this way like uh, uh, hide equals to false like this so i cannot write okay it, it will not workable so guys that time we use set height okay so now here we will see the use of set height so first initially true and when i click this button so that time here i will write like this way so set height i mean uh, this one the, uh, this one and parenthesis here i will add the value whatever i want to define and that is false okay so this is simple thing and now guys uh, this one just i have defined this variable but here i have to write one condition for height and so okay so here i will not show just simply uh, i will uh, write height okay so that's why guys here i have to write the curly basis for the condition okay so now here first i will write here initial value this one okay so this one uh, i will write okay height triple equals to when true so when it is true so that time what i will do in uh, uh, question mark and that time here just i want to display this component right so that's why i will write like this way just simply here you can see height when it is true so that time i want to display if it is not true then clone and that time i don't want to display this component means i want to display blank thing right like this way okay so that is the condition so if i save and if i go to the browser so here you can see so if i click this button so first i have to replace this once and you can see it's already hide so now see first it is displaying because hide is true in by default here i have assigned and i told that is first value it stored inside here okay this value it will store in the first one so here you can say hide true so it is first by default it is displaying this component no i'll click so it's hide okay but if i write the condition like if height equals to false so that time it will display so by default height true so the component will not uh, it should not be display here here you can see so it is not displaying but when i will click it so that time it is displaying because condition i, I made it changed like uh, when height uh, it falls so that time it will display and no, if it is true so that time it will display blank okay like this way 
just I told you for understanding the condition. But guys, our main motive is like when I will destroy this component, when I'm clicking this button, so it is destroying. Okay. So when I will destroy this component, so that time I told use effect to, uh, hook is called or uh, that time as well. So I want to check like use effect hook is calling or not. Okay. So I'm dis uh, destroying this home component okay so i have to implement use effect hook here only so now just here i will import use effect hook so use effect okay so you can see here it's showing the suggestion in second one so simply i will select and enter so it will automatically import it this use effect hook see here so if it is not imported in your application simply type this one like import use effect from react because those are the react or uh, default features okay so that's one so now guys here i have to implement this use effect hook so use effect like this and here it takes an callback function so i will light and fade arrow and this one and it takes an parameter okay so first one is then blank so guys here use effect to i have added and i guess still that it is clear okay so now guys for understanding this scenario like when destroy the component that time use effect to call or not so that time i will implement set interval method okay so i'm not going to discuss more about this set interval method if you want to know so you can just simply ask me so i will just uh, try to explain this method uh, more okay so now here this one like this okay so now here i will set a time comma and uh, suppose 200 okay so now this one is done okay so i will add one space you can understand like this is use effect hook and inside this use effect i have added set interval method okay so now here i will write an a variable that is called i i equals to zero okay and now here just inside instead of uh, first i had written home component so instead of that i will remove this one okay and here i will write an id id is demo simple very simple thing okay so now what i will do here just i will do here like i plus plus means guys here i equals to 0 means i value is 0 and after that inside the set interval set interval method what it does like i have added one time right this is time actually so 200 200 means 0 0.2 millisecond okay so uh, so after this time it will display i mean it will call one uh, one uh, i mean whatever you will write inside the set interval method so that it will call after this time again and again okay so means here i have written i zero first of all and after that i have written i plus plus so after 0 0.2 millisecond so that time it will be i uh, i plus plus means uh, zero plus uh, one means it will be one again after two uh, 0 0.2 millisecond it will be one plus uh, one plus one means it will be two like this way i will be increased and that i value i will uh, i will just uh, assign inside this demo id okay so means document dot get element by id and the id name is demo okay and we know guys when we print anything so we write inner html so inner html i very simple thing okay so now just i will save this one and app.js i will save as well here okay this one also save so now i will open the browser okay just to check it how it is working okay so first i will re uh, refresh this page so here you can see i value is increasing right because i have written set interval method set interval method call uh, how many time i will add here okay so like see i value is increasing okay so now guys if i just click this button so whatever functionality i have written inside this button i have written like this component will be height right means uh, here this home component will be height and in this home component i have written set interval method means home component height means all the thing like set interval method will be height as well okay so let's see so for that i will just open this developer tool okay so i will open the developer tool and i will go to the console once 
see now here i will click this button see i click this button so component is height but guys if you notice here i am getting one error and if you read the error so here you can see like cannot set properties of null means guys here component is deleted but guys this set interval method is going continue it is not deleted right because set interval method it comes from the window thing uh, that is the different topic but it is not deleted when i delete this component it's not deleted right so that means guys when i will delete this component so that time i have to call one thing so i have to call that is return okay so inside this use effect there is another method that is called return like this okay so inside this return method whatever i will write so that thing will call when component will dis destroy okay so here uh, this set interval method i have started but i didn't stop this method so when i will close this component i mean destroy this component so that time i have to stop this method as well okay so that time what i can do just i will write where okay where and the variable name anything i can write so i will write like id okay so this is actually variable id oh, by the way this variable name you can write anything so this set interval method i have written here okay i mean this inside this id very vari variable so now i told you this return method called when we destroy the component so when we will destroy this component so that time what i will write clear interval because this clear interval method it uh, it uh, just uh, help to clear the set interval i mean it helps to uh, stop the set interval method so inside this clear interval method this inside this parenthesis i will call this id means it will stop this id and this inside this id i have stored our set interval method okay i hope guys it is clear so now i will just save this one and now i will check in the browser and guys any i know guys this this thing is little more a little con confusing okay it is complex little so guys if you have an any doubt you can write in comment section so i will try to solve your doubt okay so now guys i will open the browser and refresh refreshes it once and now guys see this set interval method it is increasing one by one and it coming from the home component so once i delete this home component so now you can see here in the console it is not showing error because guys uh, when i deleted this component the uh, this return method is called and inside this return method i have written our set interval method delete uh, stop uh, thing right id okay so inside this use effect you have to call this return okay uh, so that is the thing actually i wanted to show here like when we destroy the component so that time also use effect hook it useful like if you want to perform anything like when you want to destroy this component suppose destroy means not only delete guys so here now the i'm i'm just uh, seeing the view like home component but guys if you want to uh, now after that uh, when we change the component like home to about like component means guys it is also url like if you here uh, it is the i didn't uh, show the router video here so when i will show you the router video so that time uh, it is home component so here i will show you like in the url like slash home like this is called route actually so home so when i will go from this home component to about component means this home component is totally removed from our page we will we'll display new component that is called about components means it so that time means it also destroying the previous component like first i am displaying home and when i will go to the about means home component is destroying and new component is coming about component so that time if you want to perform anything so we use use effect hook and inside this use effect we write the return and whatever we will write inside this return so that will uh, occur on on the uh, component destroy time so i hope guys it is clear if you have any doubt so you can write in the comment section i will try to solve your doubt okay and if you find this video is helpful so guys please like this video and you can subscribe my channel as well for getting more updates